Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and this Father's Day, we're here celebrating traditions that fathers can pass on to their sons. I have my son here today, Nathaniel. Nathaniel, can you say hi to everyone? Hi. And uh, what are we going to do today, Nathaniel? Shine. What was that? Shine shoes. Shine some shoes, right? So does, is Daddy good at shining shoes? Yeah. No. No? Are you going to teach me some things today? Okay, so here I've got a pair of uh, my favorite Gravati loafers, and Nathaniel, why don't we shine these? So here is uh, some shoe polish. you remember what type of shoe polish this is? Do you remember the name of it? Can you remember the name? What did I, did I say Saphir shoe polish? Yes. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so we're just applying a little bit of uh, Saphir cream polish to this dauber. Now, Nathaniel, can you put the shoe polish on the shoe for me? Yeah, now scrub it in there, good. All the way over the shoe. You can pick the shoe up if you need to. Under the shoe? Nope, not on the underneath, just the top. More, 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 more. Oh, you need some more? Ooh, I need Yeah, there I you go. So one of the things that we hear quite often from a lot of our older customers here at The Hanger Project is how much they loved shining their shoes on the weekend with their fathers. Now, unfortunately, this is a tradition that has largely kind of gone uh, missing. And so here at The Hanger Project, you know, we definitely uh, support and encourage, you know, sitting down and actually spending some time, you know, with our sons, teaching them not just the importance of dressing well, but just as importantly, uh, the narrative of taking care of your clothing. Spending a little bit of time on the weekend, shining your shoes, preparing them uh, for the next week. Daddy, what is this? It's okay, a little bit of polish. Okay, we've got a lot of polish on there, but that's okay. And you know, the younger you start, uh, the more likely they'll actually be able to um, shine your shoes for real for a little bit of allowance money whenever they're a little bit older. Right, Nathaniel? What do you get today for shining these shoes? What did we say? Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, so let's let this polish dry a little bit. As you can see, it's a messy affair with a four-year-old, um, but we wouldn't have it any other way. All right, so I'm gonna buff this a little bit just to remove some of the polish. Does that look shiny? Not yet. I'm gonna let you make it really shiny. We're gonna get a little bit of water. And look at this. Look at. Okay, so do you want to practice buffing with your horsehair brush? Okay, can you go side to side like this? Hold it. Can you lift it up and do it on the front? Now, how about here on the toes? Hold your brush like this. Here, I'll show you. Hold it like this, and that way you can take it side to side. Like this. Hold the shoe. Yeah. Now, do you clean your shoes at home? No. No? Shoes. Does, Daddy, does Daddy clean his shoes at home? I want to shine my shoes. You want to shine your shoes? Do you think one day your feet will ever be large enough to wear my shoes? Yeah? Are you going to wear Daddy's shoes? Yes. All right, mine's pretty shiny. Where, how's yours coming? Look at mine. Look at mine. It looks good. Can you do a little more buffing? Mine's gonna be way too, way shinier than yours. Try to make it shinier. Okay, so we're gonna show a little bit of a trick, okay? You ready for a trick, Nathaniel? Hold this cloth. So hold it like this. Do you want to stand up in the chair? Would that make it easier? Or on your knees? Okay, so like this. Okay. You think you're done? How do they look? Shiny. They look shiny. Let me try just a little more. Oh, yeah. A horsehair brush makes a big difference. 
So we've got shoe polish all this, but it's nothing that Ray Fabricare can't take care of. From everyone here at the Hanger Project, happy Father's Day.